friends. My name is Miss Afton and I am the children's librarian here at the Alexander Hamilton Memorial Free Library. Since the library is closed, we are going to continue our mini story times and our story today is a great one to do together. It's a guided meditation practice in story form and so this book is one of our new books that I thought would be wonderful because it's can be pretty stressful right now. So this is a great one to use to enjoy as a story or to follow the steps along as we go and use it as a guided practice in meditation together. Right, our book is called Big Breath. It's a guided meditation for kids written by William Meyer and illustrated, which means she made the pictures, by Brittany R. Jacobs. And as we read this story, I'm going to be doing some of the steps Please feel free to do as many of the steps as you would like and as you feel comfortable with, but this is a great story to start to relax, connect with your breath, and feel a little bit more centered in this kind of stressful time. So our story is Big Breath. First, find a comfy spot. Maybe on a squishy cushion or a soft blanket. Let your arms be long and your hands be soft. Place one palm in the other and gently squeeze your hands together. Take a big breath and close your eyes. Can you hear your breath? Can you feel it? What does it sound like? Does it sound like an ocean and remind you of the waves? Does it feel like the wind before a big storm or the breeze at the start of spring? As you take your next breath, begin to notice the sounds around you. Can you hear the cars passing by outside your window? Can you hear the whir of a laundry machine or the hum of a motor? What about the thoughts in your head? Do they make sounds? Do they have names? Are some of your thoughts big? Are some of them small? See if you can imagine what they look like. See if you can picture them moving across your mind. Now, take a big breath and pretend you can let go of each of those thoughts. Imagine your breath is the wind and your thoughts are the clouds. Follow your breath down into your arms. Feel the breath flow into your hands, maybe all the way down to the tips of your fingers. Wow, that is a long way from your nose. Take another big, slow breath of air. This time, let it fill your lungs like two big balloons at a party. And imagine your heart is a beautiful present sitting between those two balloons. Imagine yourself unwrapping that present. Imagine the smiles around you the laughter, your excitement. What do you find inside? A word, a memory, a friendship? Let that feeling of surprise fill your whole body. Now, when you are ready, but only when you are ready, take another big breath. You're really getting good at this. And this time, follow it down your spine, through your legs, and down to the tips of your toes. Can you remember all the places you've been? Imagine all the invisible footprints you have left behind. Then take another big breath and let them all go like footprints washed away by the waves.
Let go of the day, let go of the coulds, the woulds, and the shoulds, the goods and the bads. And for a moment, just Breathe in the sky of your mind. Breathe in the white of your heart. Breathe in the tingling of your toes and the warmth in your hands. Breathe in all you are and all you will be. Breathe in everywhere you've been and everywhere you'll go. And then when you are ready, but only when you are ready, take one last breath. And open your eyes. How do you feel on the inside? How do you feel on the outside? Do you feel lighter and more relaxed? Maybe a little calmer? May you carry this feeling with you through your day and your dreams, and may you share it with everyone you meet. So this is the book Big Breath, a guided meditation for kids, which is a great way to relax, practice some deep breathing, practice some introspection and self-relaxation. And another great technique for relaxing if you're feeling a bit stressed or anxious is some controlled breathing. There are lots of different styles. Um, one that I like is just doing equal parts where you breathe in for say four counts, hold your breath and then breathe out for the same. So it would be and you start again. So like I said, there are lots of different techniques. That's just one that I use, uh, but there's lots of square breathing, circular breathing for kids, all kinds of great ways to kind of mitigate some of that anxiety and the feeling of tension that may be developing because of the current situation. So I hope that you enjoyed our story today. Again, remember to check back on our website for some of our new books. You can place them on hold and pick them up in the evenings um, this week. You can also use our website to access lots of our wonderful digital resources. We have our Overdrive catalog, which is eBooks and audiobooks, and we have Hoopla, which is free for our library card members that has audiobooks, eBooks, TV, music, comic books, all kinds of services. So please feel free to look through our website, find some of our sources, or our resources online for while you're at home, and we hope that you enjoyed the story today. Thanks again for joining us for Storytime and have a nice day. Bye friends.